So, Uncle, I thought you were too late to do anything. Anything except for wrestling? What do you want? Don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. <laughs> Have you ever been shot at by a cow? Who's cows? It's drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm, yeah, all bad then. I, I owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 60% of the take. How many cows? I don't know, small herd, I guess. 20, maybe? 20, huh? Come on. <laughs> okay, let's mount up. It sounds like we got baited into his plan, but whatever. Money's money. So where's this ranch? It's right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows. Just past the road's turn off. Did we just break the horse station? So, oh well. How you find out about this place? Stop your wandering and stick together. So you was just talking about something? I've been hanging around the saloon and roads a bit. Roads? Yeah, the barkeep there gossips like a fishwife. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall-down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> Sounds a lot like you, but... be hanging around roads after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys. And they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. Yep. How old are you, anyway? Well, let's just say I was born sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. So you're 50-something years and old. My second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Mm. Ouch. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now, I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you, you've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm going to see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Is that the place? Seems like it. All right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come, let's take a closer look. First time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. Don't you sound like Dutch? Anyways, I gotta rob the place in my free time a little while ago. So shut up, hurry up, and be quiet. You said he was a drunkard. You said that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You dumbass. You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Oh, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. <laughs> now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ. I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. 
How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up! Oh! I'm doing the best I can, okay? This here is a rusty padlock. Hurry up! Good. Well, come on, you, you better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. I guess we just shoot it off, do we not? That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. You said he ain't gonna wake up and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. Got it. Alright, you bunch of moo moos. Get on out. Come on. Come on. Move. Go on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Keep moving. Come on. Wrong way. There you go. What the what the hell? I'm being wrong. Yes, you are. Good job, dude. Good job. Clemens Cope. Oh. Uh uh. No. I'll keep up with the herd. Don't want them running off. All right. Get him. Get a move on. Wow, that's a lot of you bunched up at, at once. Get a move on. Well, they're going the right, right way, right? So, no problem. You, in the back, move it. Oh, come on. Go, go. Get a move on. Uh, don't, don't slow down now. Keep going. I ain't got all Nika. What? I must have been too close. Uh, nope, come on. Go back in. Go back in. Good. Very nice. Nope, go back in. There you go. We still got one more. Never mind. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. Well, so do we. 75 and not a dollar more. 100, and I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> 
Hmm. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. Mm -hmm. This is nasty country. Hey, don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. See ya. Don't get lost on the way home. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Right. Okay, my girl. 